Cassandra is an open source NoSQL database which was originally developed by Facebook and now it is an Apache Foundation project. Cassandra has several interesting properties which make it very appealing for large-scale deployments. Uh, first of all, Cassandra is a clustered solution, which means uh, the general data set is split into multiple chunks and each server in the cluster only holds a small portion of the whole data set. This allows you to scale your throughput by just adding more nodes to the Cassandra cluster. Another property of Cassandra is that all the nodes in the cluster play exactly the same role. There's no separation uh, in between primary and standby nodes or master and slaves like you would find in many traditional systems. Uh, this provides fault tolerance, which means uh, if one of the nodes goes offline, uh, another one can always take the role and the cluster will continue operating in the normal mode. To support uh, this scalability and fault tolerance properties, Cassandra, as any other NoSQL solution, has to make some simplifications when it comes to the data model. Cassandra is using row and column data model, which is similar to relational databases, but unlike relational databases, Cassandra doesn't support table joins or transactions. Another thing you should keep in mind when you're thinking about Cassandra deployments is that its storage engine was really designed to provide very fast write operations, while read operations may not be that impressive. One of the good use cases for Cassandra is storing various time series data, like measurements done on periodic basis or sensor reading information. In general, you should cons consider Cassandra deployment if you absolutely require great write performance, scalability, geographical distribution, and fault tolerance, but your read patterns are relatively simple and your data model fits well into the Cassandra framework. Mm -hmm.